hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is yemi yemi asiana if you're new welcome girl i hope you're here to stay and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i'm glad you caught another video so today we will be discussing the ordinary um so i went to sephora and I picked up some skincare products. As you know, I am a, a licensed esthetician in Atlanta. I am licensed in both Florida and Atlanta. And I'm all about skincare, girl. I'm all about the good skin, the hygiene, the beauty, anything that makes you feel good. Um, mainly, I'm all about budget-friendly things that make you so budget-friendly luxury. So everybody has the option to experience luxury in the comfort of their own home. If you don't know, I do have a brand called Brown Sugar Co. And I do offer body butters and scrubs and I will be expanding in the future. And basically the purpose of that is to make sure you feel good in the comfort of your own home. Luxury doesn't mean going somewhere spending thousands or hundreds of dollars on something that you can experience for a lower price um luxury is what you define it you can define it as designer bags you can define it as you being able to enjoy a glass of wine after a long day of work so with that being said i am used to using hold on one second i'll be right back so like i was saying um i am a licensed esthetician so i do have access to professional products um so with that being said dermalogica isn't necessarily professional but i just get access to like the professional sizing and all the behind the scenes products the things i haven't launched yet all that stuff so dermalogica is what i have been using for five years yes i was using it while i was in school after that i used it afterwards at every salon i've worked at um we use dermalogica um and clarity so i worked at hand and stone so they offered dermalogica and clarity i was more so on the dermalogica side clarity was just a little too drying and perfumey for me so i prefer dermalogica um even at the school that i work at now they use dermalogica but i was just like i want to try something else because my skin is okay but it could be better and being that i've been faithful to dermalogica so long i'm just wondering if it's time for me to change it up just so maybe my skin can get like a new boost i don't know whatever um so the issues i have is extremely dry skin i have some hyperpigmentation so under my makeup you can't really see it by the way, I did this look using all concealer, so if you're interested to see how I got this, make sure you um, go to the video. Um, I'll link it down below. Anywho, so hyperpigmentation. I have like rough texture skin under my chin, so it's just a few things I want to work on. So I decided to stop by Sephora and try out the Ordinary brand that is pretty popular and it's booming on TikTok. And um, I wanted to come in as a licensed professional and as a woman of color. Um, and just tell you guys what I think. So this is just going to be a haul to show you guys everything I've gotten. And then eventually down the line, I will start using the products. And then that way you can tune back in and I'll be doing updates, letting you know how I like it. And then my opinions on the brand. So right now I'm not recommending it at all. I'm just doing like an unboxing to show you what I got. And then in the future, we'll see if I recommend it or not. So I'm going to go in the order of how you would use it in a skincare routine. Um... And then I'll just do some explaining and reading the packages just in case this is something that you'll be interested in. So for cleansers, I got the squalene skates, the squalene, the squalene cleanser. Um, it is a squalene based face cleanser and makeup remover. And I got it in 1.7 fluid ounces. It says it cleanses skin, removes makeup, supports surface hydration. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And they don't really give you too much information like on the packages so you really really have to do your research <laughs> so they don't give you too much information so i'm gonna actually open it this is my first time opening it with you guys yeah so when i was doing my own research on this product i didn't really hear too much about the cleanser most people were using like the serums and the acids but i decided to just get the whole line um so i can see how the brand works as a whole so that's the cleanser and then the next step in your skincare routine would be your toning solution so most people and one thing i would recommend using if you don't have access to something from the store or you just have more sensitive skin i would recommend using witch hazel if you have sensitive skin i would dilute it with some water 
um, but you can use witch hazel for toning. And I got the glycolic acid in 7% toning solution with a pH of 3.6. And then I got it in the eight fluid ounces. So it is a glycolic acid, 7% toning solution with 7% glycolic acid, amino acids, olive vera, um, and Tasmanian pepperberry. So it says to ideally use in the PM no more no more frequently than once per day after cleaning, saturate a cotton pad with the formula and sweep across the face and neck. Do not use on sensitive skin, peeling, or compromised skin. Avoid the eye contour and contact with eyes. Do not rinse off. Continue with additional skin treatments as needed. Contact with a product with the skin must be of limited frequency or duration. If irritation occurs, seize use and consult a physician. Um, it does say it's fragrance free and it visibly targets textural irregularities and lackluster tone. So those are two things that I am concerned about. Like I said earlier, I have textured skin on some areas and lackluster tone means that it will help brighten your skin. I feel weird about not rinsing it off just because, I mean, I guess you don't rinse toner off or anything, but that's weird. Cause I like to rinse everything off. I don't like my skin to feel gunky at all, but this is a pretty high percentage for glycolic acid. So I can see why they say only use it once a day. Anything over two, three, I would say I wouldn't recommend using too frequently for colored skin. So darker skin tones I wouldn't really recommend. I would recommend staying low as possible with your acids. So you'll see that's why I got um, some of my options in lower acids as they do come in higher ones as well. So anywho, that is the toner. And then now we're going to go into, I got, okay now. So now we're gonna go into the hyaluronic acid, a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. It has 2% hyaluronic acid plus B5 with ultra pure, oh, I already said that. So this, it says apply a few drops to the face, AM and PM before creams. So it has a 2% hyaluronic acid. That's why you're able to apply more than one time a day. So apply a few drops to face AM and PM before creams. If irritation occurs, seize use and consult a physician. Use only as directed um, on unbroken skin. Patch test prior to use. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is a serum. So you use your serums before your moisturizer. So you're gonna cleanse, you're gonna tone, you're gonna do like any serums or like eye creams that you have, and then you'll do your moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And this is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna open it. So it's a dropper bottle. Love that. So it's a dropper bottle. It's nice, thick serum. Love that. And I'm also gonna go back and open the toner. I didn't open this for you guys. Just in case you wanna see how big it is. It's huge. So this is the toner. This camera is not focusing, but um, and then it comes with a nozzle, nozzle top. It comes with another nozzle top in here as well. So that is the toner. And then I showed you the serum. Now we're going to get into the moisturizer. So if you're just starting off with skincare and you just want to find you um, a routine that's pretty basic, I would just recommend cleanser, toner. You don't necessarily need a toner, but if you want to include it in your regimen, um, a toner helps to regulate your pH balance. So after you cleanse your face, it takes you back to that normal pH and it removes any excess makeup that you may have missed. I want to say don't use it as a makeup remover. You want to make sure you get your face as clean as possible before you are toning. So most people use it after their cleansers or their mask. So cleanser toner moisturizer or cleanser toner serum and moisturizer um so to get into the moisturizer i got their natural moisturizing factors plus ha and it's a surface hydration formula once again good for drier skin and it um has amino acids dermal lipids and hyaluronic acid so apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration same thing if irritation occurs sees use and consult a physician and I got the oh sorry let me go back to the 
serum so i got the serum in one ounce i think they only come in one ounces and then the natural moisturizing the moisturizer i got in 3.3 foot ounces so i'm gonna open this as well this is what it looks like so i really like their brand too because it's really aesthetic so if this is like an item you can leave out in your sink to help you remember to do your skincare routine i don't recommend cleansing your face in the shower because your shower water is way too hot for your face so i always recommend cleansing your face like after you get out the shower or like in the mornings if you take your showers at night so i like to leave my skincare on the sink i don't like to leave it in the shower because it should not be used in the shower per se every esthetician is different some may recommend it i personally don't so now that we've gotten our basic everyday skincare routine down i'm going to go into the extras and by extras i mean your masking so i picked up the salicylic acid two percent mask formulated for blemish prone skin so this is good if you have breakouts closed comedones um which are whiteheads clogged by excess sebum or just clogged pores so this will help it looks like this will help purge all that out and get you nice and right so this mask comes with two percent salicylic acid vegetable charcoal amazonian clays and squalene and for directions it says use once or twice a week on thoroughly clean dry skin do not use on wet skin apply evenly across the face using fingertips avoiding the eye area leave on for no more than 10 minutes rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water do not use on sensitive skin peeling skin or compromised skin and avoid eye contour in contact with eyes both during application and rinse off um and then for sunburn alert it says this product contains uh, a beta hydroxy acid bha that may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunburn use a sunscreen wear protective clothing and limit sun exposure while using this product and for a week afterwards so if you plan on going to the beach or you plan on traveling or you plan on doing anything sun tanning whatever do not use this product for so the day you use it do not do that and then a week afterwards is what it's saying so i got this in 1.7 ounces so just a nice little mask is what it looks like so this is a salicylic acid mask and then um it says don't use more than one two times a week so if you're a self-care sunday girl or a boy um i would do my masking on sundays if you like to mask two times a week i would recommend on wednesday and on sunday so that time you have days in between and now this is the most popular item i feel this is really what caught my eye to it because people were using it all wrong people were using this and burning their skin so this is a direct acid as long with the salicylic mask that's a direct acid as well so this has a 30% AHA and a 2% BHA and is the peeling solution. So they call it the 10 minute exfoliation facial facial with a pH of 3.6. So it says with 30% AHA, glycolic, lactic, tartaric, citrus, 2% beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, um, also known as hyaluronic acid, cross polymer vitamin b5 black carrot and tasmanian pepperberry and for the directions it says clean face and wait for skin to dry do not use on wet skin apply evenly across the face and neck using fingertips avoiding the eye area leave on for no more than 10 minutes rinse thoroughly with lukewarm water do not use on sensitive skin peeling or compromise avoid the eye contour the eye contour and contact with eyes both during application and rinse off this low viscosity solution is intended to be used as a mask. Do not leave on for no more than 10 minutes. It is not recommended to use more than twice per week. Contact of the product with the skin must be limited frequency or duration if irritation occurs. So this has a sunburn alert as well. And then, why is there a dog barking in the hallway? So it says it visibly targets textural irregularities and lackluster tone. So like I mentioned before, two things that I would like to work on. So girl, it says not leave. 
So this says do not leave this on more than 10 minutes and I would recommend not leaving it on more than 10 minutes. If it's your first time using it, you don't know how your skin will react, of course do a patch test, but I would also only do the five minute mark and then the next time I would do a seven minute mark and then if you do plan on leaving it on for 10 minutes, do not leave it on longer than 10 minutes. Like be at the sink rinsing at the 10 minute mark. So this is what it looks like. So very, very popular. Okay. You can easily, easily, easily burn your skin if you use this improperly. So be careful. Don't try to be a know-it-all. If you have questions about the products, go to YouTube, do your research, see if it even works best for your skin tone. Just do your research overall. But so that is everything that I got. I got one, two, three, four, five, six items. And I spent about $60 because it's very affordable. Um, six to $7 per item. So if you're on a budget, start with the basics, build your way up. You will get there. Very, very, very affordable. So I will give this a try for the next two weeks. Um, it is December 28th. I'm probably going to use it today once I wash my makeup off. But we're just going to say January 1st. So about the second week in January, I will be back to update you guys. And we will see how my skin reacted. So if you have any questions during this process, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can message me on Instagram. And I will be more than happy to answer any additional questions. Like I said, this is not a recommendation for you to go out and buy this product. This is just a follow me along. And we will see how I like it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.